Hi yogis, welcome. This flow class today we're going to be working in some back bends and twists. Now I mentioned this in the very, I think the very first or the second video I did for you guys. Uh, when you do back bends, just know that there's two types of pelvises. Anterior tilt, which I've got, a little bit of an arch to the back. Posterior is rounded, more likely to have a rounded upper back. Anterior tilts are the most common. When you're doing a back bend in practice, our backs are very strong, like mine. Uh, the anterior tilts strong and um, and tight, so back bends can make them, it, it can be painful. So just so you know, uh, ease it off if you need to. If you're feeling pain, it's not because you've got a weak back most of the time. It might just be because you've got an anterior pelvic tilt. It's very strong, it's very tight, and a lot of back bending is going to irritate that. Uh, so let's get started today with breath work called Nadi Shodhana breath work. Um, now I love this type of yogic breathing because it helps to balance out of course your nasal passages and they connect it to different sides of the brain. So right nose, left brain, left nose, right brain. There's a great story I love to tell before doing this breath work because I'm a breath work coach and I learned this in my course. There was this woman, I think in the States, and she um, had a deviated septum so she could only breathe in and out of the right side connected to the left brain which kept firing up the sympathetic nervous system, so kind of masculine energy, really on, really doing, and she was schizophrenic. Now she had an operation to open up both sides, and once she could breathe in the left side as well, tapping into more right nostril, uh, sorry, right brain and parasympathetic, she, her schizophrenia started to subside. So that is huge. So we want to be able to breathe in both sides, at any time of day, you'll be more open in one than the other, that's normal, but we don't want to completely shut one down because you might be too on, too forceful, too in that sort of masculine energy, or you might be too lethargic if you're in the other side. So let's up and up. Just sit comfortably. I use one hand for this. I get the two piece fingers just out of the way. My thumb goes over the right nostril, the last two fingers over the left. You breathe in left, out right, and vice versa. I'll talk you through it. You can use two hands if you want, or you just don't have to do this, and you can breathe low, slow, and deep, LSD, just into the belly. So if you can join today, block your right side. I like to open up the side that I'm breathing in, so push the cheek away, give it more space. So let's start. If you can, follow me. Block right side in left, six, five, four, three, two, one block left out right six five four three two one in right six five four three two one out left six five four three two one in left for six out right for six in right six In left six, out right. In right six, out left six. In left six, out right six. In right six, out left six. In left six, out right six. In right. Deep breath in. Let it go. Now open up your eyes. Let's come straight into downward today. Walk 
this out, moving the hips side to side. Gently nod or shake out your head. Think of a word that you'd like to feel. Maybe it's confidence. Maybe it's peace, maybe it's joy, maybe it's gratitude. Just think of your word. Actually, mine today is not what I want to feel. My word is ask, because I need to remind myself to ask for guidance around something. <laughs> so think of a word. Set that as your intention to feel it or to remind you of something that's important to you. It's helpful. Lift your right leg high, squeeze on the glutes. Exhale, step forward. Drop your back knee down, sweep your arms to the sky. Take another deep breath. Lean back. Now you've got your blocks there. If you need to grab them, grab them for this. Take another breath. Bend your front knee. Crescent, lift your back knee, stand up, but keep the front knee bent. Take another breath. Pyramid pose. Again, use your blocks for this if you need. Relax your neck and shoulders. Take another breath. Bend the front knee, drop your back knee. We'll go through that again a bit faster. Inhale, reach up, lunge. Nails in the newly lunge. Exhale, fold straight in the front leg. Half Hanumanasana, your nearly splits. Inhale, lift the back knee, crescent. Exhale, straight in the front leg, pyramid. Hold for a breath in. Bend your front knee. Drop your back knee. Uh, once again, reach up. Bow over this front leg. Crescent, lift the back knee. Pyramid fold. Take a breath. Bend your front knee. This time, three-legged dog. Half pigeon, right knee to the right side of the mat, facing away from you. Maybe you're on your forearms. Feel free to wiggle your hips. Just a few breaths. Press the floor away. Bring your knee to your nose. So curl your back toes under. Lift the right leg. Down dog. Lift your left leg. Low lunge. Back knee to the floor. Reach to the sky. Sink your hips a little. Keep the front heel down though. Take another breath. Straighten your front leg. Pull your toes back towards you. Fold over this leg. Take a breath. Bend the front knee. Back knee lifts. Present lunge. Sink lower. Push this back heel back in into your right hip. Take another breath. Pyramid. Fold. And hold. Once again, your kneeling lunge. Arms sweep up. Half split, straighten the leg bow. Crescent, lift your back knee right. Pyramid, straighten your front leg fold. Hold for a breath. Kneeling lunge once again. Reach up. Straighten the leg bow. Bend the knee, rise crescent. Pyramid pose, straighten and fold. Hold for a breath. Bend your front knee, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Half pigeon, left knee to the left side. Three breaths. Some poses I just like to rock and roll around in because it feels good. Do that if you like. You do not have to be still all the time. All right, curl your back toes under. Push the floor away. Try to touch your knee to your nose. Sweep your left leg up. Down dog. Knees to the floor. Grab your two blocks if you're using blocks. You can do this without blocks. It's just really tricky. Put your blocks behind your knees, next to your legs, touching your legs. Now, either with your palms or your knuckles down, lift. We're activating from your hips up. So, activating the core, the shoulders, triceps, psoriasis. So, not much weight in the toes at all. I'm on the top of the toes here. 
Here for five, four. Really lean into your arms. Three, two, one. Now blocks behind you, I like them on the medium height. Yours can be higher if you want. Fingers over the front works for me. Your long uh, camel. So push your hips forward, push your lower ribs forward, lift your chest to the sky. So you're getting into your spine and your shoulders are getting a beautiful stretch. You're pushing your hips forward, squeeze your glutes on to stretch the opposing muscles, your hip flexors. You can tilt your head back if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Take another breath. And take a seat. Blocks next to your legs. Lift. Now if you want to try, you can try and lift your feet. Not easy, but try if you like. Five, four, three, two, one. Blocks behind you, same thing. Long camel pose. Push your hips forward, lift your chest, stretch your shoulders, two breaths. Just modify whatever you need, as always. Sit back and down, blocks to the front of your mat, back into our down bow. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to the front. Halfway lift is your little deadlift, so squeeze on your glutes. Fold over your legs. Let's pause for a moment in ragdoll, bounce or sway. Opening your back line more. Fingertips to the floor, shuffle your feet closer. Bend your knees. Roll slowly to stand. One with your spine at a time. And you roll up out of your neck, shoulders back, arms scoop up. Bring your palms in the heart center. Close your eyes. Reconnect with your word, whatever it was. Remember, mine is ask, because I just want to remind myself to ask for guidance on something that I'm unfamiliar with and I'm hitting brick walls with. <laughs> Take another breath. Let it go. Open your eyes, sweep your arms. High over here, join your palms. Exhale as you fold, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, half lift, our dead lift. Activate glutes, step back, lower down, five. Knees if you need, four. Your arms are pinned to your ribs, three, two, one. Shoulders back, chest forward, squeeze on your glutes, cobra. Down dog, Ardha Mukha Svanasana, lift your hips up and back. Lift heels. Bend knees, step or hop to the front. You don't have to hop like I do, I just really enjoy it. So halfway lift, fold in half. Inhale, rise. Palms join overhead, fold. Lift halfway, your deadlift. High plank straight to low, chaturanga, arms pinned to ribs. Of course you can take cobra like we just did, legs down, arms bent or up dog, legs lifted, arms straight, squeezing your thighs on. These type of back bends, my back doesn't love them, so I'll be doing push ups instead. So you can choose. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop forward. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, rise, arms up. Take your bow. Lift halfway, you can take a crow float back here if you're familiar. Step or float back, high to low or float straight to low. Back bend or push up, downward facing. Lift your right leg, you're coming into the flow now. Step forward to your lunge, back heel to the floor, left arm back, warrior two. Sink low. So make sure your right toes and knee face directly forward. Your back toes face sideways. Left arm is going to cartwheel forward. So you're in this twisted lunge. Now step your left hand, another handprint forward, so that when we turn in a moment, you don't crush the wrist. Cleopatra. Turn your toes to the right of both feet. Drop the bottom hip. You're stretching up out of this left hip. So if you didn't step the left hand forward, you probably, it's probably hurting right now, so step it forward. You've got to turn the front foot to a point where the knee is okay, and it's not in a wonky position. Hands
hands inside of your right foot, crawl to the other side and the back, Skandasana side lunge. Your feet can be flat, your spine parallel to the floor, arms fly wide. Getting into this left hip, inside of the right leg. Just take another breath. Launch into your warrior two, turn your right toes forward again. Reverse. Try and keep the right knee really bent. Hands to the floor. Vinyasa high plank, low. Push up or back bend as you inhale. Down low. Left leg high. Low lunge. Back heel down. Warrior two. Sink lower. Another breath. Right hand to the floor, step it out in front, toes to the left, drop that bottom hip, reach back. Cleopatra. Feel that pull up out of those right obliques. Hands inside the left foot, spin around, side lunge, bend the right knee. We're starting with flat feet, shoulders and hips in one straight line. Take a breath. Warrior two, left toes face forward. Reverse, reach your left arm back. Keep the knee bent. Hands to the floor, high to low plank. Push up or back bend, downward facing. Two more rounds, right leg high. Low lunge. Left arm back, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Sink lower. Left hand to the floor, Cleopatra, toes right, drop the hip. Hand inside the right foot, other side, Skandasana, bend the left knee. Exhale, warrior two, right toes forward. Inhale to reverse. Hands to the floor, Vinyasa, height to low. Push up or back bend. Down low. Left leg high. Low lunge. Warrior two, right arm back. Sink low. Right arm forward, Cleopatra. Toes to the left, drop the hip. You'll hear me breathing very strongly throughout the whole practice. I'd love you to do the same. Scand us in a side lunge. Warrior two, left toes forward. Reverse. To the floor. Right to low, look to the front edge of your mat, arms pin to your ribs, push up or back bend. Downward facing. Right leg high. Exhale, lunge. Warrior two. Sink lower. Cleopatra. Toes to the right, drop the hip. Skandasana. Hands inside right foot, then the left leg. Maybe even lower. Right toes forward, warrior two. Reverse. Vinyasa. High to low. Back bend, push up. Downward facing. Left leg high. Low lunge. Warrior two. Sink low. Cleopatra, right hand down. Toes turn left, drop the hip. Swim the arm forward, other side, right knee bend, Skandasana. Warrior two, left toes forward, reverse. Hands to the floor, high plank to low, vinyasa, push up or back bend, down facing. Lift your heels, bend your knees, you can step hop. To the front of your mat for your ragdoll, or take like five tuck jumps as a little drill. Five. Just go to the front of your mat and fold if you normally do tuck jumps. Four. Three. Two. One. Ragdoll, hold your elbows down, so sway. Roll to stand, arms sweep high, palms to heart center. Turn your left palm up like you're holding a, a tray. Keep it up, send it to the side, left foot back, 
Keep the palm up, slide it under the foot without adding an extra turn. And now for dancer's pose. So it's up to your back here and how much of a back bend you come into. This might be enough, kicking the hand away, stretching the shoulder, or you might drop your chest more. The more you push your chest forward and kick the foot back, the more arms you're going to get in your spine. And that's really up to you how it feels on your back. Try not to let your knee go out to the side. You want to have this left hip facing down to the floor. Three breaths. Bring the left knee to your chest. Foot to the floor, other side. So right palm faces up, right foot back. Hold the inside of the foot or ankle. And then tilt however far is okay for you, for your back. Kick the foot away to stretch out this left, the right shoulder. You feel it in the right hip flexors as well. We want back. Three breaths. Staring at something that doesn't move is helpful. Hug the knee to your chest. Feet hip width apart, reach up. Take a seat in chair. Bring your right fingers or knuckles to the floor inside the foot if you can. Push the back of the arm against the inner knee to twist, peel the left shoulder back. You can also just push against with the elbow if that works better for you. Now other side, so left arm pushes against the inside of your left knee. Your bottom is lower than your head and shoulders. Reach forward, sink all the way down until you're in a seat, bridge pose. Then we'll do wheel if you want to do wheel. So you're laying down, your feet are about hip width apart. Either you can touch your heels with your middle fingers or have your heels a little bit further away to give you back more space. Mine is slightly out of reach. Lift your hips, squeeze on your glutes to open the opposing muscles, hip flexors. Either your arms are next to you, or you can clasp your hands and draw your shoulders closer. Tuck your chin to stretch the back of your neck. If this is too much, maybe just put a block under your hips so they can, the block can hold you and you don't have to. Uh, use effort. Let's come down, come to happy baby, or just cuddle your knees to your chest. Happy baby, knees wider than your ribs, you can move your legs around here if you like. And now, bridge again, or wheel. If you don't know wheel, I'll teach it. You can have your hands, and just don't push it, just take baby steps. So hands next to ears, fingers face shoulders. I like hands as wide as the mat. Elbows face the ceiling. Lift your hips. Come onto the top of your head to start. Then you just practice lifting an inch. Once you get used to this shape, then you can start to push your chest up and back. And that's the movement of wheel. You don't push up through your hips, you push your chest up and back. So you're getting into your upper spine, your chest, your shoulders. A few more breaths. Let your head just hang. So my back is sensitive, but it's not getting squashed here because I'm pushing the chest up and back. Chin lower down, give your knees a cuddle again. Now bring your feet to the floor. Supta Konasana, feet together, knees wide. One hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Reconnect with your intention, your word. Three breaths. Again. One more. Give your knees a cuddle, we're going to meet in down dog. So you might just rock side to side for a moment. Up 
and down. Get there any way you want. I'm going to rock up and take the vinyasa. Walk back if you like. Two more rounds of flow. A little more colourful. So right leg high. Turn your hips, bend your knee to the ceiling, scorpion tail. Stay here or flip your dog. Now this is a one arm wheel, super specific. Your feet are flat to the floor like they just were in wheel. You lift your hips and reach overhead. So one arm wheel is your flip dog. Notice the positioning, your toes are in one straight line. It's a one arm back bend. Slowly come into your lunge. Back heel down, warrior two. Sink lower. Left hand to the floor, Cleopatra. Toes right. Skandasana. Bend the left knee. Any arm variation, I'm going to go lower this time. Warrior two, launch into it. Once again, left hand to the floor. Come to the outer edge of the back foot. Wild thing. Right foot behind the left leg, which is still inside plank. Now you're opening up this right side. So wild thing is different to flip dog. This is a side release and works your shoulder and your core. Lift the right arm and leg. Stay on one hand and one foot. Three counts to low lunge. Start to move the leg. Three, two, one. You're there. Back to your warrior two. Now try to just balance your way into your half moon. Of course you can hold the floor or a block. But make sure your hand is under your shoulder so your spine has length and you're not all bunched up. If you want to back bend here, you can take sideways dances. So again, your palm faces up. Grab the inner edge of the foot or ankle. You push the left hip and chest forward as you kick the foot back. So it's your dances back bend, but sideways. If that's too much, just flex the foot, kick it back. Squeeze on the left thigh. Option to float this hand. One more breath. Bring your left knee through. Give it a cuddle. Or head to knee pose. You can hold the ball of the foot. Bring the leg to hip level and bow your head down to the leg. Getting into the nerves. Lower back. Hamstrings. Low lunge. Three-legged dog. Right leg high. Vinyasa, so high to low plank or handstand to low plank. I'll teach these handstands in another video. Add it if you like. Vinyasa, down dog. Left leg high. Scorpion tail. Flip your dog, so one arm wheel. Feet flat, toes in one straight line. Opening up your chest, working this right shoulder. Side plank the right foot, come into your low lunge. Warrior two, sink low. Cleopatra, right hand down, toes to the left. Skandas on the other side. Any arm variation, one breath in. Warrior two, launch into it. Wild thing, so right hand down, come to the ninth edge of the back foot. Take your left foot behind. Lift the hip, reach your head. Take a deep breath, opening up your left side. Left arm up, left leg up. Three counts to low lunge. Three, two, one, warrior two. Sink low. Glide into Adachandra Sana Half Moon. Hold floor, hold block or nothing. If you float the hand, it's only a few inches off the floor, so you're using your core. This back leg is active. The glutes, side of the leg, the thigh, the foot. Remember your sideways dances if you want it. It's like Chapasana, but you're coming into a back bend. Two breaths. Bring the right knee through. Give it a cuddle or hold the ball of the foot, pull your head down to hip level. Take a breath. 
low lunge. Left leg high. High to low plank or handstand to low. Push up or back bend. Last round. Right leg high. Scorpion. Flip your dog one arm wheel if you like. If you flipped, try to tap your bottom down. Lift again. Side plank left leg. Slowly to low lunge. Warrior two when you get there. Sink lower. Left hand down, Cleopatra. Toes to the right. Hands inside of the foot, Skandasana. Left knee bends. Warrior two. Wild thing. Left hand down. Knife edge your back foot. Right foot behind, open your left side. Right arm up, right leg up, low lunge. Three, two, one, warrior two. Half moon. Flex everything, squeeze all the muscles on, maybe hold the foot, back bend. Sweep your left knee through. Hug the knee or hold the foot and bow. Low lunge, right leg high, three legged. Vinyasa, skip it and go straight to downward if you need, otherwise, option for handstand. Low plank, vinyasa. Last side, left leg high. Scorpion, knee to sky. Option for flip dog, one arm wheel. Little tap at the bottom if you flipped. Lift again. Side plank the right leg. Slow motion to your low lunge. Warrior two. Sink log. Right hand down, Cleopatra. Skandasana, right knee bends. Warrior two once again. Wild thing, right hand down. Knife edge your back foot. Left foot behind, lift the heel, reach forward, open the left side. Lift the left arm, the left leg. Three counts to low lunge, three, two, one, warrior two, sink lower, half moon. Option for your sideways dances. Push your shoulder forward, the chest forward, the hip forward, keep the foot back. Maybe hold something with this other hand. Sweep your right knee through, hug it, or hold the foot, pull your head down, take a breath. Low lunge, three-legged up, high to low or handstand to low plank, your last push-up. Vinyasa, downward facing. We'll meet at the front of your mat and fold, again, five tuck jumps if you want to go there. Five. Little kicks to the bottom, four, three, two, one, right dog, bounce or sway. Reach forward as you start to sink your bottom, sit down. Now, Left leg straight, bring your right foot to the floor. Right arm behind, left arm up. Either hug the knee and the shin and twist, or a bit stronger, push against the thigh to twist. Stay here, or with your left hand, you can hold the right foot and keep the leg across. 
Maybe even reach your right arm back. Getting more into the side of the leg and the back of the leg with your twist through the back. Genesis us in a seated tree, so bring your right foot inside the left leg. Reach to the sky, fold over this leg. It's okay to bend this front leg or wrap your towel or strap around it if that helps you. I also like to have my hand outside of the foot and bow outside of the leg. If that gives you more sensation where you need it, great, but if it doesn't, just fold straight down. I've got a little hamstring test, so I'm just, I'm sort of wriggling a bit in this one. I don't want to stretch it. Sweep your right arm up and behind. Stand on the hand and the knee. Reach your left arm back. on top of the right, otherwise cross your legs with the left leg in front. Bow down as best you can. You got your blocks, you can rest on the blocks if that helps you. Bend the knee if you need to. Three deep belly breaths. Stay or left hand could hold the outside of your right foot. You could bow outside of the leg. But only if it gives you extra. If it gives you nothing extra, it just stays you up. It gets, for me, it gets a little bit more into the left lower back. That's why I do it. Left arm circles up and behind. Stand on the hand and knee. Reach your right arm back as you lift your hips. So you're on the home stretch. A few more minutes to go. I'm going to leave you for Shavasana as I do. So try and stay there for about five minutes. The playlist is with this class. Should be pretty yummy music by this stage. Alrighty, take a seat, stack your right shin on top of left or cross the right leg in front. Five deep belly breaths. So deep belly breaths, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Calming, grounding. Now, wriggle out your legs, coming upside down before 
for Shavasana. So you can come forward for headstand, forearm stand, back for shoulder stand, or hips on a block. So of course I'm going to show you the ones on your back. Move to a wall if you're still test driving or working on your forearm stand, shoulder stands, or handstands. So shoulder stand, you can rock up and back until you can catch yourself. Ultimately, you want your hands flat to your back, your thumbs and fingers facing up, your pinky fingers next to your spine, parallel. Ultimately, a lot of people hold their hips at first, which are so heavy, and you don't get this candlestick shape. So, ultimately, just know you want pinky fingers parallel to spine. Now, if you can't get there, get a block, or just put your feet up the wall, that's fine. Block has three heights. I love to use the highest height. It feels really nice for me. So I like to lift my hips, use the highest height. I'm going to do this one today because it feels amazing. So just bliss out here for a moment. I love like a three minute inversion. That feels awesome to me. If you do like a three minute headstand, once you get familiar with headstands, um, you're going to feel your back muscles, they have to work hard to hold you there. Uh, but three minutes like this, it's more of a, a yin thing to do. It feels great to have your legs upside down for that long. It's good for you. So, take a bit of time here. You won't be here for three minutes, but a little time. Three more breaths. Now round your back, whether you're going to come to child's pose or hug your knees to your chest or take this kawasana flower that I'm doing. You can have your legs straight here like I've got. If your feet don't touch the floor, that's okay. Just hold your back so your neck is supported. I like to start with straight legs and then curl into a little ball. So do that if you like. I either put my knees on top of my head or my temples are next to the ears and I just do what feels amazing in the moment.
Take longer if you need to, otherwise other side. If your back is sensitive after this class, get a cricket ball. You can get them from Rebel Sport for like 12 bucks. Roll the sensitive parts. That's what I use, it really helps. But also just take it easy on back bends if, it, if they affect your back. I wouldn't do as many, but I teach, so. Alrighty, so let's take a few more breaths here. So you're rolling out your back in a cricket ball can be really, really helpful. That helps me so much. Just because of all the repetitive use, so my back can get a bit tight. Just come back to centre, give yourself another cuddle. Any last rock or roll on your back that feels good, go ahead and take it. And make yourself into the most comfy shavasana. For me, that is blocks under calves every time. Now I'm going to say goodbye. Please enjoy a nice long shavasana. Hopefully you're listening out to my playlist. I'm going to put playlist 221 with this. So let's take a deep breath together. Reconnect with your intention one last time. And sigh away any tension, any stress. Feel <sighs> Shavasana.